Hey guys, it's Jeff, and just like I predicted yesterday, this morning Apple released the second iOS 12 beta to all developers. Now, the build number for this beta is 16A5308E, and it's said to bring us bug fixes and performance improvements. The size for this update on my iPhone 10 is just around 680 megabytes, so with this update, is there any new features, any major changes, or even performance improvements coming to us in beta 2? Let's find out. Today's video is sponsored by Sonder, and Sonder is an awesome e-commerce project that will change the way we make payments to online stores. So for more information about the team and how to get involved, check out the link below. So here we are with beta 2, and for a quick second, I just want to touch up on some major bug fixes that have been made in this beta because that might change your mind on installing it onto your device or may change your view on the beta as some people haven't had good experiences so far. So first and foremost, all GPS issues seem to be gone now with both Apple Maps and third-party applications, so that's a huge relief for those who rely on apps like Waze or Google Maps. Now next up, the Notification Center, and we are having quite a few issues with group notifications and the organization of those notifications as well. Some would be apart from others, and it was just sort of a mess, but now in Beta 2, I'm seeing no issues so far, and we'll make sure to report back if I see those issues again. Now, one major feature that has been causing issues is screen time, and there's a lot that has been going wrong with this feature, but for the most part, the biggest issue is that no data is displayed a lot of times on our devices. So on the widget, there won't be any data, and then even on the screen time menu, there's no data there either. On top of that, some of the data is a bit skewed, so I'll give it a few days on beta 2 and see how it is, but for now, the issues seem to be fixed, and hopefully they stay that way. Now onto our last major issue and that is with the battery menu and on the battery menu we have some issues with the accuracy of the data and more specifically some issues with the overestimation of usage. So everything looks to be normal right now running beta 2 but I'll get back to you on this feature and how it's doing because a lot of users were sort of enraged over the clearly wrong data that was being displayed. Anyways, those are some major bug fixes that seem to be fixed for now in beta 2. If you want to check out more bugs and bug fixes, you can go ahead and check out the link below for a Reddit thread that basically talks iOS 12 betas and everything users are experiencing. Now onto new features, the big topic when it comes to iOS 12. So in this beta, we are seeing something different in the control center, and that is the AirPlay icon, and now it's completely blue, which I actually don't like, but let me know if you like this change or not. It looked fine before, but obviously Apple wanted to make that change. Also in the control center, you'll find that the timer button is now more rounded in length at the bottom, as to before it was just a circle. I do like this change and hope that they move towards more of a UI that looks like this as it does look quite good. Now when you go over to the screen time menu, you'll be presented with a splash screen which gives a brief description of the app, but it also allows you to set up screen time as a parent. Also in the settings app, when you go to the battery menu, you'll find a new UI for the battery level and activity menus. Also there is more text under insights and series suggestions as well. Now when you go to customize your Memoji, there are actually a ton more customization options as you go through hairstyles and facial customization. There are also a few more accessories as well, so let me know how you like all of these additions as it gives more options to personalize your Memoji. I really think Apple should keep on expanding on this because hopefully that will bring more users to Memoji and Animoji as well. Now when opening up the books app, you'll find a landing page there and it will also prompt you to store books in the iCloud. You'll also find a completely redesigned new books experience as you go through the app. I'm really enjoying this and I think that having it separate from the app store um, sort of look is really nice and this sort of black and white theme really flows well with the books app. So let me know in the comment section down below if you use books and if you like this change. When going to the widget page or notification center, you'll find a new carrier text on the top left hand corner, and it will also change on the widget page as you scroll down through your widgets. Super interesting, but I actually prefer the old carrier text. Let me know what you like. I wish there, there was like custom text that you could put up there, that would be cool, but I know Apple really isn't into customization, so fingers crossed for that. Now overall, the animations of opening and closing apps seems to have changed as the background sort of falls back or zooms out into place as you exit the app. 
I like it, but in beta 2, it seems that this is a bit laggy as some of the animations stutter using certain apps. So the overall performance is great, but I'm not really seeing that noticeable of a change. And the benchmarks sort of confirm that as we are only seeing about a 2% increase in performance on both the CPU and GPU side of things. So nothing major as far as performance. So guys, those are some of the new features and also bug fixes that came in beta 2 of iOS 12. Super exciting day for us here to see iOS 12 evolving and hopefully soon we'll be seeing some clues as to what features we might be seeing on the next generation iPhones. Anyways guys, if you liked the video, please hit that like button and also get subscribed for some more upcoming content. If you want to stay up to date on when we release our content, also hit that bell button. We thank you all for watching and hope to see you in our next video. Peace!